Hi Virgo, welcome to your bonus read for now, from now until the end of the year. The first bonus read has already been done, so that was for uh, couples, relationships and situationships. So we're going to try and do a singles read. So hopefully uh, the cards will respond. Oh, okay, well I guess that's a sign when they're all falling out at once. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you find that this resonates. I will be giving away one or two free personal readings over the holidays. Um, so in order to be in the running, you're going to need to know how that's going to work. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification button. Uh, and I will be giving out those details soon. But let's get started for your singles reading. So this will be a reading for singles. What messages are there? for Virgo singles between now and the end of 2019. Virgo singles between now and the end of 2019. Please, Virgo singles. Here we go. Virgos, I feel like you've been a little bit unlucky in love um, at, to the point where, oh, but something is coming. Um, to the point where you're like, you've almost lost your faith in love here with this nine of cups in reverse. It's a bit of when is this going to happen for me? Maybe this is never going to happen for me. Um, maybe I'm just not meant to be with someone. All of that sort of stuff has started to creep into your mind. But here you are over, like, look at what's coming. You've got temperance and the two of cups. So, um, a really connected, balanced, deep connection looks to be coming towards you. It could be an Aries. Oh, sorry, not an Aries. I don't know why I even said Aries. That's weird. So it actually could be an Aries just because that's been a slip of the tongue. But it could be a Sagittarius. Now, this tower has come out. I don't think it's a bad tower. I think that it is a case of this person is actually going to rock your world. But we'll clarify. There's more for um, Virgo, please. More for Virgo singles between now and the end of this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more, please. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. So, yeah, they... I, I'm going to be totally real with you here, though, Virgo. As you know, I always am. I've got to give you the good and the bad, right? I feel like because you have been unlucky and you have been hurt and kind of your trust in people is a little bit low at the moment and your trust in relationships, your faith in relationships is a bit low, I do feel like for some of you, and this may not be for all of you, but for some of you, um, because this is having such a strong effect on you and it's, it is rocking your world a little bit, it could also be a Scorpio, you're kind of doing a lot of checking up, doing a lot of fact-checking and background checks on this person because you just almost feel like they're too good to be true and they do have two of cups energy. You're also keeping your distance over here. Um not really letting anyone emotionally in. I know that that's an air card and you are an earth sign, but I'm just sensing that this is coming up as you guys as well. Let's clarify. Do we want to clarify the Nine of Cups? Yeah, let's get some background on what the Nine of Cups is. What's been happening with this Nine of Cups? Please, Nine of Cups in reverse. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Because every time you meet someone, you find out either, you find out either something they've lied about or they deceive you in some way. So whether that's cheating or um, just being dodgy, pretending to be someone they're not, um, you know, making out like they're really interested when they're really not, all that sort of stuff. So this is how you've lost that trust in people and why you've lost that faith in people. I'm going to leave this Two of Cups to the end because I want to come back to that. I do want to know more about this tower. I feel like this tower is more about um, because you've lost your faith, you've kind of, it, it's going to be when you least expect it, I think, and I think that's what the tower is. It's just going to come out of, out of nowhere. Mm. 
yeah, see? <laughs> oh, four of Wands clarifying the tower. So right there, this is not a bad tower. This is a tower because it's you're literally rocking your world. You're like, how is this even possible? How, how, how can I even have met someone with this connection? Like it's out of this world. The fact that you even have the two of cups and the four of wands in this reading tells me that this is God. I'm just hearing like it's a knockout, like it's a total knockout. Amazing. But there is a risk here because you're so out of like it's so out of the blue. You have been hurt a lot this year, I think, and in the past even. This here is a little bit, I don't want to say negative, but it's much darker than this stuff that's happening over here, which is really good. Um, let's get some more information on the King of Swords, please. The King of Swords. Okay. So she came out real, like solidly um, on the side there. <sighs> Tells me that it's kind of going back and forth between being in the upright, sorry, between being in the upright and being in in reverse so it's the queen of pentacles clarifying the 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 king of swords so i think that you want to be the queen of pentacles you want to find that person to have that long-term stable relationship but you're torn you're torn between this again it comes back to trust like this this trust thing has been really big for you and learning how to trust people again and have faith in not just individuals but love in general um, is going to be the challenge for you here. I feel like that's part of the lesson here in this, this particular connection. And that is what's keeping you at your distance. That is what's keeping you at sword's length from um, this connection. Uh, page of swords, please. Page of swords and the full in reverse. So this is telling me that you could be foolishly trying to find out some dirt on someone. So you're doing, that's what I meant about um, you're doing your background checks. She you might be having a look at their Instagram, their social medias, whatever it is. Um, you might be asking people about them if you if you have mutual friends. You're doing reference to what I like to call reference checks on people. So um, definitely, but it's it's telling me that you're doing that in vain. Like you're actually not going to find anything, and that's what kind of makes it a bit foolish. Um, more of this page of swords in reverse, please. And the fact that the page of swords is in reverse, you're at, yeah, you're not actually going to find what you're looking for, I don't think. Yeah, you, you're victorious. It, it, you're going to be victorious in not finding anything, <laughs> which is good. It's like you're winning, um, which is great. But at what cost? Like... Will this person find out that you've been fact-checking them? Will that affect them? I don't know. But, you know, whatever you're looking for, you're not finding it. Let's go back to the Two of Cups, yeah? What's the Two of Cups, please? Two of Cups and Temperance. Oh, wow. So this person is actually... Um, going to allow you to be that strong independent person that you've developed over here over this time and it's such a I feel like it's such a healthy connection where you're going to enjoy the time together as much as you enjoy the time apart you're not going to lose yourself in this connection is what I'm getting for some of you I think part of it is that you don't want to get involved with another person because you've kind of gotten used to being on your own um you're still going to be able to have that with this again that's this temperance this balance of amazing connection but not losing your sense of self so it's kind of a one in a million connection i love it that's how i feel like it's really good let's do let's do your current thoughts and feelings let's do your thoughts and feelings What's some feelings for Virgo, please? What's some feelings for Virgo? And then I'm going to ask more about this person that we're meeting or you're meeting. I'm not meeting them. Okay, let's 
thoughts and feelings. You're having some honest conversations with yourself about what you want, what you expect, what you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate. Um, you know, I feel like that honesty and that truth that you've developed with yourself, that's what's opening the doorway. And the universe is like, yeah, you've learned what your expectations are. You've learned what is good for you, what's not good for you. You're being real with yourself about this. So here is this gift. You're ready. You are ready for this soul connection. And that's what it is. It's 100% a soul connection. One more, please. Oh. Okay. But you are, because we're in thoughts and feelings, you are definitely afraid of rejection. You're afraid of that person letting you down again with the King of Cups clarified by the Three of Swords. It's not that you don't want to offer that. It's that you're afraid to offer that because you're, you're worried about this Three of Swords again. Okay. So that's definitely on your mind. All right. Let's talk about this other person. So give us more information about the person coming towards Virgo, please. Information about the person coming towards Virgo. One more. Okay, I knew, I knew that this was coming out. <laughs> All right, so the Emperor in reverse. Now he can be a very strict kind of person. Um, he might be a, an older male or female, generally male. Um, but for all my male watchers, obviously, if you are, um, you know, expecting a female, then you can change the sex. That's fine. Okay, one more, please. I feel like they come across as very, um, they tend to come across as very rigid and, um, I want to say masculine, but that's not the right word, like very full on like they're very this is this is how we're going to be doing things and I want it to go this way and I think we should do this and they're they're kind of the the um the alpha in the relationship but they do that in a way because they feel vulnerable they actually lack self-esteem to a degree but it's kind of like that classic the person who is the loudest is actually the introvert or the one with the least um the least self-esteem it's like that kind of stuff um that gives them that control the controlling is probably the the better word and not controlling necessarily in a negative way they may have it in a negative way sorry that's a, oh no that's one um but they um they also might be very used to being on their own, so they may have been single for quite some time, which is why they're quite happy for you to go off and do your own thing as well. Um, but they really feel that very strong connection to you. Um, yeah, they like to be in control. Sorry, is where I was going with that before that Three of Pentacles came out. But that's kind of a that the control is a way that they um, can hide that vulnerability and hide that I don't want to say low that insecurity that's the word I'm looking for but it's not in a negative way I'll take one more please about person coming towards Virgo okay they're definitely an overthinker again this is coming back to that strength in reverse so they do have that um that's some insecurities and you know what guess what people come with baggage everyone's got baggage so if you're looking for someone perfect that's not going to happen but spirit saying hey look this is a person coming towards you and these are some of the things that you need to be aware of and some of the things that they're facing as well just like you are afraid of being hurt so there's don't freak out that there's some negative cards here or cards that can be perceived as negative it's just like okay this is what you could be up for you might not choose to even engage with this person at this point in time, um, and that's perfectly fine. But that's kind of what's what's coming through. They do, they like to think things through. They might be a little bit uh, OCD about things. Um, they may have been on their own for quite some time, so you know they're they're definitely things that you might see when you first meet this person. 
But hey, guess what? You've still got these amazing connection cards. And I think you're going to know because like it's going to be causing you a tower. Like your connection with this person is just going to be electric. You're going to know as soon as you meet them. All right. Um, I want to do advice, actually. What advice is there from spirit? What advice is there for... lights getting low yeah you know what there's actually going to be some work to do and that's okay that's what's meant to happen here that's why that's coming out so again this person isn't perfect and neither are you and there may need to be some work you may actually know this person through your workplace as well because this three of pentacles is here as well so there's a few different work cards um that could be why it's in reverse is because it's a bit of a uh, you might not be meant to be dating someone at your work or that could be a reason that they are resisting or, you know, unsure at the beginning. I'm not sensing that they are unsure at the beginning though. There's the queen, the matching queen to the king. I actually think you're both going to come across as not standoffish but cautious. Yeah, you're hiding your emotions. Again, this is that Queen of Swords, King of Swords business. You're keeping everyone, you're both keeping each other at sword length, but you're still a matching pair, you're still a King and a Queen. You're just hiding on those emotions, the moon clarifying the Seven of, um, seven of Swords there. One more please for advice. So if this person is coming across as cold and detached, just like you, <laughs> there's a good chance that you might need to look at, mm -hmm, there's a good chance that you might need to look at, um, uh, you know, what, how you're actually really feeling. Because I think that if you're honest, you'll, you'll know about the, um, the feelings that you're suppressing. You've got the fool here. They really make you feel foolish. And in this spread and in this um, advice setting, it's like saying, just let go. Just go with it. Be a bit silly. Throw caution to the wind and just see where it takes you kind of thing is the final final um card here it's like yes there might be some work to do you're absolutely matching king and queen keeping each other at bay with your hidden emotions here but just let go just see what happens that's all let's get you a romance angel romance angel please for virgo singles long one virgo Oof. whoops oops oops and i'm running out of light here so we'll make it quick. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday together. And it's the holiday season. So, and this is between now and the end of this year. So you will be encountering this person, or well, most of you will be encountering this person in the next couple of weeks even. Um, so yeah, enjoy those holiday seasons. You might have some time off together, be able to spend more time together, all that sort of stuff. It may even be someone that you've just met for some of you um that's just kind of getting off the ground you might have run into them you might know from some of this stuff down here who i'm talking about um but absolutely it's all looking really amazing virgo okay have a great end of the year i will see you for the weekends and the weekly reads don't forget to like and subscribe uh, especially if you want to know more about those uh free personal readings and i'll talk to you soon bye